Hello everyone and welcome to Cyber War. Today we're doing another episode from our cybersecurity for beginners course. I think it's the third video we shoot today. We did that one on installing uh, VirtualBox, VMware, Firefox browser and OT. And then Tor browser, Brave and Opera, and some comparisons. And now we're gonna do something else. We're gonna install Burp Suite. And if, depending how much time I have, I might also play with it a bit. So, just to make an introduction, uh, there is a book. Called Web Applications Hackers and which everybody should read and own and sleep with it under the pillow. This is the Bible of hacking web applications. What happens is that the author of this book or the whatever organization in my, it is my impression that it is him who founded the company that runs Burp Suite. I might be mistaken, but no. You see, this master hacker is the creator of Burp Suite. So the man wrote the book. He mentioned a lot of attacks in the book. Okay, I'm not locked in here. So. Uh, and he then built the uh, proxy that allows a lot of the attacks and also the website and the business. And now it's a, it's a monster, poor Swigger, okay? Uh, he didn't release updates of this book. That's one issue. Because he is running an academy where you can learn new attacks and everything. Okay. All of them using Burp. Most of them. So this is a bit of uh, history. Um... He does have cookbooks, like he also has like a malware analyst cookbook. All of them are like 2010, 2011. And I think there was something with mobile apps, but I might be mistaken. Let me application hacker sample. Yeah, maybe it's the same guy or I am wrong. Okay, now I'm getting oh, French. Is it the same guy? No, but it's the same format. Maybe. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, if you can get your hands on this book, buy it. It's a part of history. So, of course. There are PDF versions. It's already a decade old, so yeah, that's life. Um, and people have been making Android and books and whatever. 2014, everybody's doing one. Anyway, um, so now we are here. We have this huge company uh, making a, a great product, Burp Suite, which is a proxy software. Um, what example can I give to you? Like, let's say we are trying to click here on YouTube. Well, the proxy sits between the browser and YouTube. And when I click it, I can change the request and then it goes and I can change stuff values of everything and I can monitor and I can do all that. 
uh, you can see the background uh, a lot of things you can do with the inspect thing in um, in firefox but um, yeah it is like you can get requests here for example edit and resend you have a request and you can edit the parameters and do stuff with it but uh, let's go back to our things today we are installing the free version of burp suite because they have several versions and what everybody is using is burp suite professional but for our purposes and just to introduce you in the techniques and everything this will do for sweet community edition and uh, you should start hunting now and you can find plenty of bugs with this um and then you can afford like everything changes after bugs start coming in payments start coming in uh, uh paying for burp would be anyway let's get there first but then anyway, let's um Let's download it. We are on Windows 64 bits and we are downloading. Show checksums. Okay, I don't care. It's, it's good practice, but I'm not doing that right so download is there hey i'm 75 subscribers from um, 1000 and then i'm gonna spam you with uh, advertising isn't that grand don't worry about it i'm still not gonna get monetized i'm not sure how easy it is to monetize um hacking content plus i don't have the watch hours i need like a thousand extra watch hours to in a very short time to get monetized so you're good all right i downloaded the software And what is this? Where is it? Ah, okay. and um here uh pro tip if you register with them you can go to the academy you have a lot of bug types that you can just play along uh, so uh, where are you at? 26. Yeah. I, I recycle these, I, I remove them. I, so, getting any spam unless I want to. Yes. Check your email, okay. And next, let's close store. Close. You might want to watch where you put it because it tends to 
take up space. But uh, here we don't have partitions. It's just an example installed. So. All right, so it was installed. Um, let's open it a bit. Where is it? It's gone missing, guys. And now we we have some like some issues because you you need to tell your browser to pass all the requests through burp. Okay? So where are you? What the heck? I say that on YouTube. Heck. Okay, let's spin it to taskbar and to start and by location. Hey, I'm glad Windows still works as it used to. Um, uh, what's happening? Just want to copy it. The shortcut. I paste it here. All right. All right, guys. Let's open the verb suite. And there are a few things that we need to do before we start testing. Um, we first need to get it to start, which is cool. Help improve? No, I never sent feedback. Temporary, yeah, unless you're paying, everything is temporary. And defaults. Okay, let me let me change the password because oh my god, they always send me. Okay, so I have a problem logging in because 
need to activate the clipboard towards the virtual machine so I, for that I need to restart the operating system and I'm not in the mood to do that anyway so let's play along um, all right so what do we have here we have the dashboard which is okay then here the targets appear we're not doing anything right now so it's just browsing this is the proxy uh, you need to set it on port 8080 um, yeah you can edit that of course okay all right um and we have our browser which is a browser which is already configured okay it's um let's start that now. it has all the things configured the ssl and everything and you don't need to uh, work with uh, another browser problem I have is I can't seem to oh here so you go to target to sitemap and you open burps browser here you go So, by opening Burst Browser, you have all the right settings. The problem with that is that, you know, it's not your browser. It doesn't save URLs. It doesn't. So, uh, we will also configure Firefox. Well, let's play a bit with the Burst Browser. Okay, so let's go somewhere. Um, so what happened? Well, it loaded the Hacker One website, but you get to see all the requests that it made and what what it got. Okay. Now, one interesting option is to turn intercept on, and that means you get to see the the request before it's being sent forward it meaning you don't change it but you can also change it like for some reason you want to change this refer you will notice that as long as the browser is open you keep getting requests like it's uh, it's incredible the number of requests you can get see I didn't do anything and I already got a request from a web socket oh my god this this web socket got my IP and now I have to edit this video at minute 20 
Oh, I even got my latitude and longitude. Forward. Okay. Um, so you'll say, who cares if you can see this? Well, um, let's say we go to hackers. Hackers. Forward, forward, forward. Again. 2047. Forward. Of course, we can disable intercept and it's forwarded everything, you see? And turn it on again, turn it off, turn it on again, and click login. Let's see what happens. So forward. Right, so I forwarded it. All right, so I'm here now. On data count. Boom. What is this? You will ask. Well, this is the data that I sent, or I think I sent. Okay. So the browser sent it, but it didn't reach the server yet. So I can change it here now imagine that this is an add to cart okay you can change the price put minus or make it smaller three products cheaper products unless they have the system well implemented okay boom all these things So, okay, um, yeah, this is amazing. So, test, boom it still doesn't match some issues it doesn't matter so this is one thing that it does it uh, intercepts i usually keep it off unless i need to do some really fine tuning and then let's look at it here while we were browsing it populated all the subdomains that we accessed you're saying well we didn't access them we accessed only hacker one mm, that's true but hacker one and the browser somehow opened all these other websites trackers all that um you can like add to scope and make it only show things in scope so that you don't go crazy the first run it with no scope and then I have to redefine the scope. Okay, I'm I'm logging the traffic but I'm showing only the in scope one. Oh never changes only in scope. You see? Now we can focus a bit. And it also shows you like a directory structure. You have GraphQL, right? You can play with things. So this is where we're at. Um, you can find a certain request. And you can send it to something. To intruder or to repeater. The two main ones. 
intruder what it does you can fuzz areas like let's say you suspect you can do something with the I don't know with the refer All right you remove this and you add a tank here uh no wait oh, no. you select it tank and add a tank here and then choose the payloads um add a simple list no custom iterator from one no numbers from zero to ten and you run it And for example, here referrer is one. See, but you can use a word list, go to various referrers, whatever. This is not. I'm just showing you the functionality. That's this card. And you go to repeater, and here you can send like edit one particular request manually and it will do something um there's something called burp collaborator but you need no um you need to pay for burp professional there's a way around it with OWASP SAP and interact with sage or other things but we'll get to there uh, around paying i mean but still, I would recommend getting the professional version when you can afford it. Um, there are extensions you can uh, install. Some of them, you see, require Burp prof Suite Professional. Uh, the most popular ones it's not clear. Some of them do, some of them don't. Turbo Intruder, for example, is one of the best you will, you can have, and it doesn't require professional. Um, this one is also recommended. Um, It adds some things to the logs. Um, yeah, from the f I'm not really familiar with the free ones, but anyway. Um, okay. It can also like run a scan. You can do, for example, um. I think you can run a scan. Hmm? Wait. Yeah, it's, it has a live passive crawl, crawl traffic. 
and you can run tasks from here yeah okay but i'm not going into this now um that's about it install it and uh, best way to learn burp in my experience is to run through the port trigger academy login and i'm gonna solve this and login next time now i would have to restart the vm and i don't feel like it because i need to edit the video also jesus why would you do that hacker one to show the ip of people in there i'm joking of course they everybody monitors that all right mm -hmm. thank you all for watching that's it for this video on installing burp suite on a windows box this is probably episode four this is the playlist as i said the first three hello everyone and welcome to cyber war today we are installing as I HTTPX said, oh, from uh, the first three videos are like pilot videos, and then they start to make sense. I start with this one, which is video one, two, three, and now we are at four. One unavailable video is hidden. Okay, I remove something. All right, um, thank you all for watching, and please subscribe if you didn't already. And I'm waiting for tips on how to improve this. This is the building stage of the course, so I'm gathering my ideas and we're building it public and then we're probably gonna make like a, I don't know, some blog articles and connect everything all right have a great one bye